Hello, welcome again to A Moment in His Presence with myself, Joyce, and Kim. And today we're going to continue our study with Psalms 37. And our focus will be on verses 27, 28, 30, and 31. All righty. Starting with verse 27. <clears throat> Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of justice. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Amen. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Again, uh, as I've said before, uh, the Lord gave me this this Psalms when I was going through a challenging time of my life. And so uh, what he showed me was don't worry about the wicked. Just focus on what I've given you to do as my child, as my as a believer, as a Christian. And so that's what we're focusing on. We know the wicked is going to get taken care of. OK, we don't know well, how God is going to do it, what is going to do it, when he's going to do it. But one mm -hmm. thing, you know, God really loves the wicked. God loves the sinner. God loves the wicked. God loves mm -hmm. the evildoer. He doesn't like what they do. And he still is calling them into repentance, calling them into be, to his salvation, mm -hmm. calling them into them to have a changed heart and a changed life. So so we, we, we don't want to worry about the wicked. We'll let God handle that. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, let's see what God is telling us to do mm -hmm. as a child of God. Mm -hmm. And remember, he said, uh, it said, uh, beginning in verse 1, don't fret. Don't be envious. Know that God will take care of the wicked mm -hmm. and whatever evil is coming against you. Trust in the Lord and do good. Feed on God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Delight yourself in the Lord. Commit your way into the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. God has you the palm of his hand. Wait on the Lord for he is still on that throne. Have a meek and humble spirit so you can enjoy God's abundance of peace. God will uphold you with his victorious right hand. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. God will not forsake you, but he will bless you and he will bless your seed, your children, your descendants. So in verse 37, we're looking at, he's telling and instructing us to depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore for the lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints they are pre preserved forever the mouth of the righteous speak what wisdom and the tongue talks of justice the law of the lord the law of his god is in his heart and none of his steps shall uh slide and i found the uh, simple instructions the simple instructions in this and they are depart from evil. We know what that means. Stop it. Don't do it. <laughs> Get away from it. Don't do it. Depart from it. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> good, but do good. We yeah. gotta overcome evil. Mm -hmm. Good, and that is. It seems like it's just that's such a hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. Overcome. Yes. It. But it works because God said it. He mm -hmm. said do it. So we know it works. Yeah. So we, and he's given us, a, like you said, he's given us the Holy Spirit and we can be overcomers and do uh -huh. it. Do good. Uh -huh. Speak wisdom. Speak the truth. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know, when people come against me, the truth has to be out there sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so not out there sometimes, but all uh -huh. the time, to speak the truth. Uh -huh. Keep God's law. You know, and I thought about that. Uh, in the New Testament, God has commanded us, he's given all the laws are wrapped up on two, loving the God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, right, and right. your strength, mm -hmm. and your neighbors, number two, as yourself, your neighbor, mm -hmm. loving your neighbors as yourself. So what is he he's telling us? We have to walk in love. Because he said, by your love, people will know that you're his disciple, that we're his disciples. Mm -hmm. So it's important to walk in love. Mm -hmm. And that's why I can uh, uh, agree with us, David, I, I think it was David, or the psalmist that said, I, thy word have I hid in my heart yeah, that I might not sin mm -hmm. against thee. Yes. So we're in a, so God is able to keep us. He's able to keep us. He's able to keep our feet from slipping. But we have to rely on him to keep us. He will keep us from falling. Because, you know, when we rely on him, we have to just know that God is 
love. God is love. Yes. And our yes. steps, our let your steps, let your steps mm -hmm. be ordered by the Lord. Because He, yes. when He loves you, because He is love, your steps are going to be ordered in the right directions. And when we get off track, He's right there to get you right, get your steps right back in order. So remember, let your steps be ordered by God. Again, and remember, you are the apple of God's eye.